Hello and welcome to another episode of Not Your Grandma's Opera. Happy spring! It's spring, it's finally starting to warm up. Now we have the problem of allergies. A lot of singers have allergies. I have really, really bad allergies actually. I've had them since I was a kid. So this is kind of something that I've actually grown up with. As a singer, it kind of has some unique challenges. You really gotta take care of yourself, really make sure that you know, you stay hydrated, but also you get the mucus out and all that kind of stuff. So we're going to talk a little bit about that today and kind of what I like to do for my allergies. Now, I have some products here that I like to use. I am not being sponsored by any of these products. These are just the products that I have found that really work for me. And so I use them. So I actually start every day of my life with a 24 hour Claritin. I start with Claritin because I need to take an allergy pill every day just because my allergies are just that bad. I like Claritin because it does not dry you out. There are some allergy pills which will dry you out and it is horrible for singing. Living in California, we already have, I have that problem a lot. With oh, I like Claritin, it's non-drowsy and it keeps you nice and moisturized. Now, if my allergies are really bad on a particular day, I will take some Flonase. Flonase is a steroid, so you can take it with whatever allergy medication that you are using, Claritin, Zyrtec, whatever. Um, you can take it with them, and it does help if they're really bad. You know, I've been using it probably a little bit more now that um, spring is here, just so I can breathe. I usually only need to actually take one little pump in each nostril and then I'm pretty good for a couple days. Now, if it's still bad, I take some Benadryl. Now, this isn't Benadryl, Benadryl, brand Benadryl. This is the Costco brand, same thing, and you get a lot more. So, but I will not take Benadryl unless I'm going to sleep. It is drowsy. I fall asleep with Benadryl every single time. So if my allergies have been bad all day and they still haven't stopped being bad, I will take one to go to sleep and then that'll help me through the night with that. Speaking of going through the night, another issue I have is, because I live in California, it is dry. So I have a humidifier. This is my little humidifier. It's super tiny. I actually really, really like it. Um, I used to have a big humidifier and I hated it because I hated cleaning it. It was just a pain in the butt to clean because it was just giant and bulky and then it would get like calcium buildup and it was just a huge pain in the butt. So this little one is like perfect because you just refill it every night from the top and then you just press the button and it goes and it'll automatically turn off after 12 hours, which is great if you don't turn it off. But yeah, I like it. I put it right next to my bed, pretty much right next to my head on my bedside table and it hits me perfectly. A lot of singers like to have, um, who travel especially, like to have uh, humidifying masks. Those also work really well. Humidifiers are super important. It just helps to moisturize the inside of your face, really. Now, I also have really bad sinuses. My sinuses are actually triggered by my allergies. It ends up triggering my migraines. So I get really, really bad migraines from allergies. I actually can't even like garden because it'll be just so bad for me and I'll have like a migraine for the next three days. We tried it last year. It did not end well for me. I got banned from gardening after that. So if that does happen and I'm getting a lot of pressure, I actually really like Advil Cold and Sinus. Advil Cold and Sinus, um, it has the pseudomethine in it, just like Sudafed, but it also has ibuprofen in it. So it also helps with the pain which that's what I get. I get the pressure and the pain, so I need both. I was taking Sudafed plus a couple of Advil anyway, just for the pain, but this is it all in one go. I actually also take this before I get on an airplane just to help with the pressure. It really works. Now, if you do get a migraine, obviously take some painkillers because it's only gonna get worse if you don't take painkillers. Taking a hot shower also helps, especially if you have a massage setting, setting on your shower. Um, but one kind of thing that a lot of people always will tell you is, oh, you have a migraine, drink water, drink water. Well, that's not gonna help you. That actually might make you more nauseous. 
And I know because I get nauseous from it. Gatorade will actually help you more with that. That's what I drink when I have a migraine is Gatorade because the water does make me more nauseous. You can drink water to prevent a migraine, but once you already have the migraine, it's not gonna really help you anymore at that point. You need more electrolytes, so that's why Gatorade is better for you. So I prefer the Gatorade to the water, but of course, drink water all the time, especially during allergy season, just constantly be drinking water all the time. That's what I do all day. It'll help prevent the migraines. It'll keep your sinuses and your all that moisturized and hydrated. So that's, those are kind of my tips on surviving allergy season, just in general, not just as a singer, but in general, if you have bad allergies and you're not a singer, these are great tips as well. But these tips are a little bit more geared towards singers just because a lot of it has to do with keeping everything hydrated and not drying you out because that's the big thing for us. Okay, I hope you enjoyed these tips. If you have any questions, please let me know. I can give you some more tips. Please like, share, and subscribe.